Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we will take a look at the choose rows function in Microsoft Excel. So here is an outline of today's video. At the outset, we will discuss the choose rows function and its, and its syntax. Then we will look at how we can use the choose rows function to extract rows based on the row index number. Then we will learn how we can extract even rows only or odd rows only using the choose rows function and finally we will see how we can use the choose rows function to reverse the order of the rows or flip the order of the rows. So let's start with the basics of the choose rows function. Let's use choose rows function. So we have this array here. Let's say we want to extract row number three and row number five from this array. So we will use the choose rows function then input the array then we have to enter the index of the rows which we want to extract as a separate array for example row number three and row number five separated by a comma close the parenthesis hit enter you can see that you get these two rows as a separate array here row number three it's here and row number five it's here so this is how the choose rows function works you input an array and give it the index of rows which you want to extract as a separate array and it gets those rows as a separate array for you. Now, let's delete this here. You can also input an array constant as an argument for the choose rows function. For example, I will again use the choose rows function, input the array, it is here. Then, say I want to extract row number one, three, five, seven i will input these values as an array constant in curly braces then i will close the parenthesis hit enter on the keyboard so you get these rows as an array now let us say i have values here one three five seven i want to extract these rows i will again use the choose rows function instead of hard coding this array constant here. I will dynamically refer this range here. Close the parenthesis, hit enter on the keyboard. I get the same values again. Now let's look at how we can use the choose rows function to extract odd rows only from this array. So odd rows, extracting odd rows only from this array means you have to extract row number one, three five seven and nine so these are the rows you have to extract here how will you extract these rows dynamically you will use the choose rows function again then input the array it is here then you will use the sequence function here The sequence function here must generate an array of odd values only from 1 to 9. So then you will use the roundup function here. Then you will use the rows function here. I will explain in a while the logic behind using these all these functions. You will input this array here, divide this value by 2. comma for roundup you have these two arguments first is number number is rows divided by two rows function divided by two then number of digits you will input zero here close the parenthesis then for sequence function you have entered this first argument rows for you rows you have used this 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 uh, formula here roundup rows divided by two comma zero then for columns you will input one here then for start value you will use 1 and for stuff value you will input a 2 here. Close the parenthesis, hit enter on the keyboard. So here you have these values. As you can see these are the odd rows only. Row number first, then row number third, then row number fifth. So these are the odd rows which you have extracted. Now let's look at the logic behind using all these functions inside the choose rows function. You have used the sequence function first. Remember that for sequence function, you input the number of rows. For example, for number of rows, 
we have to get five rows for number of columns one for start value one for step value two close the parenthesis hit enter so this is the array which you have generated dynamically with the help of this sequence function 13579 the only thing for which we have used formulas here is for this rows value we have used round up we have used a combination of round up and rows functions so let's see what the rows function does For rows function you have to input an array and it will give you the number of rows in that array so it means there are nine rows here in this array if there are nine rows in an array how many odd rows will be there there will be five odd rows now how will you get five out of this rows you will divide the value by two what will be the result the result will be 4.5 but since there are five rows in this array you have to round it up to the nearest integer round up then for number of digits you will use a zero zero means number of decimal points so you don't have to get any decimal point so you will round it up to the nearest integer that means you will use a zero here close the parenthesis hit enter so this is what you have used inside of the sequence function round up rows array divide by two comma zero so this is the same function which you have used here inside the rows function inside the sequence function round up rows divide by 2 comma 0 so this is how you can use the choose rows function to extract all rows only from an array now let's use the choose rows function to extract even rows only the logic is same you will use the choose rows function then you will input the array then for number of rows you will use the sequence function the sequence function is same uh, you will use the round down here in this case you will use the round down function then rows give the array divide by two number of digits zero close the rows function then comma number of column is one then start value in case you want to extract odd rows only in that case you have to enter one but in case you want to extract even rows you have to enter two as the start value because two is the starting even number then you will then the step value will be again two because you will start with two then add that number with two that means four then again add that by two that means six so your stuff value will be two close the parenthesis then again close the choose rows function hit enter on the keyboard here you have these even rows only you will start with this row this is the first row here then the second row will be this third row will be this and fourth row will be this so this is how you use the choose rows function to extract even rows only now in the last part of this video we will see how we can reverse the order of the rows reversing the order of the rows means that the last row should be at the beginning of the new array and the first row should be at the end of the new array that means you have to flip the rows how can you do that well again you will use the choose rows function then give it the array as an argument then for row number you will again use the sequence function for sequence the first argument is rows for rows you will use the rows function again then the array will be the same array close the rows function then close the sequence function multiply the sequence function by minus one multiplied by minus one close the parenthesis hit enter on the keyboard so here you have reversed the order of the rows as you can notice here this row the first row it is the last row here and this first row here in the source array it is the last row here
The reason the choose rows function reverses the order of the rows when you multiply the sequence function by minus one is that when you input a negative number as an argument to the choose rows function, it will return the rows starting from the last row. For example, a minus one means the last row, minus two means second last row, minus three means third last row. Let's look at an example here. We will again use the choose rows function here then give it the array it will be this array here comma for row number if we enter minus 3 here this will mean that the choose rows function will return the third last row let's hit enter on the keyboard this row here will be the third last row so it is here similarly if you enter minus 2 here it will return the second last row so this is the second last row here so that's it for today i hope this video was helpful if you like the video please give it a thumbs up keep supporting subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video